we're gonna rebuild. I'm Lucas, I'm uh, the owner of Sweet Mercy Farm, along with my wife, Amber. We were uh, spending some time with some friends after church. We went sledding and we're sipping hot chocolate and I got a phone call from, uh, from our neighbors right there that our greenhouse was on fire. So we just dropped everything. My buddy and I just came over here. He happened to be a firefighter. Several stations had already gotten here and were already putting out the fire. It was pretty well out by the time we got here. One of our neighbors was out with a snow shovel and was throwing snow on the fire. Yeah, while we were not, not too thrilled with the news that our greenhouse was on fire, we were also pretty moved by just the response of our neighbors to jump on it and call us, get over here and see if there's anything they could do to help. It's our main greenhouse. We grow about 400 tomato plants in there, almost 200 cucumbers, strawberries. The fire investigator uh, determined that it was an electrical fire. I mean, I'm not exaggerating, hundreds of customers have reached out and not just reached out like, hey, we're sorry that happened, but what can we do to help? Um, how can we support you guys? You know, you can feel pretty defeated when something like this happens. This response from the community has really helped us be like, you know, what? we're definitely, if there was ever a moment where we might not rebuild, it's gone because uh, this community is so important to us. We're going to take all the debris out and put new plastic on the greenhouse, rebuild our tables, <laughs> buy some new tools with the help of the insurance company hopefully. And uh, and we're gonna we're gonna keep going.